Welcome everyone. This is the Trader Genius Stock Option Daily Review for April 25th, 2019. I'm your host, Scott Patton. Joining us is Coach Jess. And uh, our goal is just to show you that there are opportunities in stock options to make a nice little, uh, have a nice little growth in your capital, shall we say. If you know, if you have the right tools, if you know what you're doing, if you have the knowledge, training, and experience. And of course, we help you with all of those things. And if you think this is something of interest, we've got uh, links in the show notes below, in the description below, as to how you can access all of that stuff. So with that said, 25th of April, uh, Coach Jess, are we able to you know, make a little bit of money today? Yeah, we are, Scott. We're able to make a little bit of money and, and you hit the nail on the head, having the right tools, the right training and the right experience really allows you to evaluate your trades and keep them low risk. We're not interested in hitting home runs every day. If they happen, we'll gladly take it. But really it's about risk management and capital preservation. And that's what we look for. And that's what you would learn uh, signing up for the coaching and becoming a part of Trader Genius. On the 25th, we had kind of an interesting morning with uh, a little bit of a downtrend and then some power going up but it doesn't end up breaking the opening price and decides to take a little bit of a spill down and then gradually through the day painfully it works its way back up with a little bit of gain at the end of the day we're going to look at a couple trades here and we're going to start with adobe and get adobe pulled up And Adobe kind of followed that little bit of that same path, a little bit of a week up and then this nice down here. And then it kind of struggled along with everything else before it started working its way down. We're looking left here and we see that this candle has broken the 945 bottom, which is the low for the day so far. But then it doesn't really follow through. It kind of gets held up and we have a couple Y points uh, creating some support. So I like to identify these. If you've heard uh, some of these trade reviews before in the past, I like to kind of get a heads up on opportunities where you see that it's made some power in a direction and then it's stalled out a little bit. And I just wait for it to start back up again and make sure it proves itself to me before I commit. And here we go. It's ready to go. It's committed. It's down past this last level of support and it's broken the 276 mark this creates a good potential moment to go ahead and get in normally in most in a lot of circumstances i would say go ahead and get out to the next level of support in this case we're at 15% and it's just blown through support like it's standing still. So sometimes depending on the overall market conditions, I may let it go a little bit further. You can't see it, but our overall uh, power genius is pinging at minus 100 right now, which is the lowest that it can get. So there's a lot of power in the down direction. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this another minute and see what it does. Now I have indicators, which I didn't have before, saying, hey, it's probably a good time to get out. We've got a little bit of a turnaround or a stall, and we've got a support line that showed up. So I'm gonna take my 13% and get out of Dodge, even though the market is still looking really strong. I like 13%. I don't want it to turn around to a, a, a negative 10% in one candle. And for this next one, we will go to DIA. And that's the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average.
think I might be a minute off here. Let's see if this one is. Yeah. She is. Hmm. Come on. Sorry, it's taking me a while to get there. Eleven twenty-four. There we go. All right. So the Dow has broken through the 945 top and the opening price. And it's shown a little bit of power. You see the signal coming back on here. And overall, the market has a bunch of support. So buy now call and move forward. And there we go. We got 11% on that candle. It's blown through SD. There's a lot of market support. The big thing here that's different than the last trade and why I wanted to highlight it is some people say, well, it's blown through the resistance just like on the last one and you stayed in. It looks very similar going in the, in the call direction versus the put direction. But one of the key things here that I always like to point out because it gets missed is look at the daily percent, the daily average range that it's moved that is gonna provide its own level of resistance and it's sitting at 102%, so right about that 100% mark. People pay attention to that. I'm gonna go ahead and exit with 11%. So on the day, we're at 26% uh, gain in five minutes. So that's a pretty good day. Yeah, it's an excellent day, and it's as simple as reading colors and lines. Uh, <laughs> you know, we don't want to oversimplify it, but at the end of the day, being able to look at the charts and tell yourself a story about what is actually going on and have confidence in that story to act. And that comes with training, uh, coaching, and experience. Yeah, it does. Uh, simple, not always easy because. What happens between our ears uh, can be can be quite a challenge. Yeah, our, our emotions and our, our hopes and our dreams and our wishes and our fears are usually more of the uh, culprit of paying tuition out of our account than being able to read charts. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Thank you very much, Coach Dave, for sharing this. Thanks for joining us, everybody. This has been the Trader Genius Daily Review for April 25th, 2019. If you're interested in finding out more about the software, our membership, uh, how you too can be uh, accessing these uh, amazing types of gains, uh, head to our show notes and our description. We've got links there for more information for you and a 10-day free trial so you can get into the replay. We go back, is it five years, seven years? Is it 500 years of stocks? <laughs> eight, eight plus years. Eight plus years of data. So you can look at at times when the stock market was flat, you can look when it's a bull market, when it's a bear market, you can then test, and this is the big thing that we really stress, is you can test your rules, your beliefs, uh, how you think things work against different types of markets and see if what you've got is something that only works in a bull market or only works in a flat market or if it works all the time. And those are really important insights to have, which if you don't have a a really good replay simulator like we've got, you'll take a lot of years finding out if you're making mistakes. But with this, you can do hundreds and hundreds of trades very, very close to reality and, uh, and, and to fine tune your rules. And then, you know, the hard part is actually following your rules. Oftentimes when someone comes to us and says, oh, you know, I've been losing money and things aren't working, well, what have you been doing? And if they're honest, and they usually are, they say, well, I'm, I'm not following the rules. And the rules are there to keep you safe and to keep your money safe. So uh, we have a 10-day free trial. You can check it all out. Uh, you'll be uh, put with a coach to help you walk you through it because obviously you can see there's lots of colors and lots of lines 
and what do they all mean? So we want to get you off to a good start. So any last words, Coach Dave, before we sign off? Really just if you're interested in trading or have been trading for a while, we're building a community and want to support each other in any way that you want to trade, not just in options, also trade stocks and investment, uh, investment opportunities as well, too, with Trader Genius. Thanks for joining us, everybody. See you next time. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs>